Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a new um, collection from ColourPop and I'm super excited about this one. Also, yes, I am blonde again and I feel very myself. I'm so happy I like 1000% needed to get my hair done and I need to be blonde again. And I feel so good. I'm just feeling myself today. Um, also, I just want to say if I'm like super low energy in this video, I promise it's not because I'm like not excited about the collection. I'm just super, super tired. I think I'm running on like two hours of sleep right now and I've had two cups of coffee and it like did not do anything for me. So I'm just super, super tired, but I'm still really excited about this collection and I could not wait to film with it. So anyways, without further ado, we're going to be playing around with the new ColourPop and Hello Kitty um, Hello Sunshine Summer Collection. So cute. I have the box right here. Sent it in like this super cute box with like a bunch of like tropical fruit, which I got a little scared. If you guys don't know, I am allergic to pineapple and there was like a giant pineapple in there. Um, so I had to like work around it, but yeah, uh, it was super, super cute. As usual, you guys know the drill. I'm going to be doing swatches, a tutorial, and also giving you guys my review on the collection as well. This is super exciting. It's super colorful. I'm super happy about it, especially if you guys watched my last uh, ColourPop video. This was definitely like a step up, and I'm super excited about it. I think this is launching on June 17th at 10 a.m. PST. That is the date that I'm seeing online when I'm filming this. ColourPop hasn't posted it yet. I've just seen like the other... Like, like uh, makeup Instagrams and stuff posting it so uh, from what I'm seeing it's saying June 17th at 10 a.m. PST if that does change or anything I will let you guys know I am not sure if codes will work on this collection or not but I'll go ahead and leave it on the screen right here for you guys and down below for you just in case it does um, my code is just Katrina it'll save you a 10% off the ColourPop website let's go ahead and jump into the collections we have four eyeshadow quads and I'm super excited they're all so cute they're all like monochromatic which I love you guys know I'm like I love monochromatic palettes and these are like the same size and stuff as the Animal Crossing ones. There are no pressed glitters in any of the palettes which is super exciting. So it says that there are four brand new four pan eyeshadow palettes featuring Hello Kitty and Vacay Ready shades. Create four unique looks or mix and match shades to create your own getaway glam. So um, we have a blue one, a pink one, an orange one and a yellow one. We have is pineapple cake and this is the yellow one. It's super cute. It has Hello Kitty and like a little bikini with a pineapple on it and you open it up and it's just yellow. One eyeshadow in each palette does have like a cute little um, fruit imprint in it. So this one has a little pineapple in one of them. There are two mattes and two shimmers in here. And yeah, it's just a cute little yellow monochromatic palette. So we have is Teeny Keeny and we have again um, Hello Kitty and a cute little bathing suit. I love the packaging. This one, you open it up, it's just all oranges. And we have two mattes and two shimmers in this one as well. Um, a like brighter orange, a little bit of a deeper orange, and then two like orange toned shimmers. We have Cherry Sweet. This one has Hello Kitty sitting down holding like a cute big cherry. Um, and then again, two mattes, two shimmers. And we have this one's like a little bit more like a corally pink and then like a brighter pink in this one. I love this palette. Obviously, you guys know I love pink eyeshadow, so I was super excited for this one. Last but not least, we have Coco Cutie, and this one is just um, Hello Kitty holding a little coconut um, cup, and this one is blue. So this one's like more of like a blue teal turquoise type of palette. One of the mattes is like a little bit more like on the teal side and then we have like a brighter cobalt blue shade. So um, that one is Coco Cutie. So those are the four eyeshadow quads. Actual unit cartons themselves all have the same packaging as well. Going on we have two pressed powder blushes and it says um, oh so sunny new blushes. These two new blush compacts are too cute to pass up which I agree they are adorable. So for the blushes we have Island Shine and Aloha Honey. Aloha Honey is like more of a brighter like pretty bright like corally orange blush. I love this color so much. It's super pretty and I definitely think this could work on a lot of different skin tones even going up into like deeper skin tones since it is super bright and pigmented but I'm also wearing it right now and you can definitely go very lightly with it as well. And then we have Island Shine which is like a little bit more on the deeper rose side like rosy pink um, and these are both matte blushes. There are little imprints in each one. 
um, Island Shine has her bow and then uh, Aloha Honey has her little face and it is super cute. So those are the two pressed powder blushes. Next thing that we have in the collection is the Glowing Lip Balm set and I believe I'm sure you'll be able to buy these individually as well. Uh, get healthy glowing lips with a touch of color with this trio of new lip balm. So they do have a little bit of a scent. They smell a little fruity um, and they do come in like this matte yellow packaging with little like flowers on it and Hello Kitty's face on them. They're super cute and we have Tropic Cutie. So Tropic Cutie is a little bit more on the like peachy pink side and then we have Fr uh, Fun in the Sun which is more on the like nude pink Hello Fruity which is like a brighter pink shade and this one definitely they are they are sheer but they're not super sheer there is still color to them they do have like pigment they're not like just sheer yeah, so those are the lip balms last but not least we do have a lippy scrub this one is in pineapple pop this is the only product that i can't use in the video um but i've used a lot of the <laughs> lip scrubs in my videos before i love them i just personally can't use pineapple stuff since i'm allergic so um i know it's probably artificial but i don't want to risk it you have hello kitty's face on here and it's just in this really cute yellow packaging so and it just comes in a cute little box as well with Hello Kitty's face on it. I really like the packaging on this a lot. That's everything in the collection. I think this collection is so cute. Like, it's perfect for summer and definitely, like, what I wanted to see. I'm ColourPop for, like, summer and just, like, a lot of bright colors and stuff. I will put all the info and everything down below for you guys. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'll try to get back to you on that. Um, but, yeah, so this is the look that I came up with today using the collection. I just want to see how I got this look right here and to hear my final thoughts on the collection as well. Then just keep watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the palettes. So I kind of have a look in mind. I was originally going to do like two different looks on each eye, but I think I don't want it to look like super crazy. So I'm like thinking I might do, I really want to use the pink and the orange one together. I really love pink and orange. It's like my one of my favorite color combos. So I really like that one. And maybe I'll do like blue on the lower lash line and then maybe like the yellow on the inner corner i don't really know yet like i said i, I had a look in mind but i kind of like changed it now <laughs> so i'm actually going to start off with the yellow one first um i'm not going to hold this palette up too much because i feel like it keeps messing up my like lighting and like the color and stuff of my camera so i'm taking the yellow one and i'm going to go ahead and take to the core which is this shade right there i'm going to take that shade in my crease i'm going to use this as my transition shade because i am going to use I think orange in the crease so I want to use this yellow looks like it's okay like it doesn't look chalky or anything so that's nice packing that on and then blending it out and once I have this shade down I'm gonna go in to the orange palette which is teeny keeny and I'm gonna take hula hoop which is that shade right there I'm gonna take that in my crease just a little bit lower than where we put the yellow and I'm going to start packing this on this outer corner and into the crease. Also kind of bringing this out a little bit like at an angle. Kind of lost the yellow a little bit but it is a, like working as a really nice transition so it's not just like a harsh orange <laughs> crease you know. So um, I like that little slight hint of yellow there. I'm going to go into Soda Crush, which is that pink shade right there, and I'm going to pack that on the outer corner. This is a really pretty pink shade. I'm going to focus this on the outer V. Absolutely love pink and orange together. It's such a pretty color combo. I'm taking that on like the outer V and I'm also bringing that on the outer half of the lid as well. I'm not taking it too much into the crease though because I still want that orange to show. I actually really like this pink a lot. It's super cute. I'm going to go back with the orange um, from the orange palette and just kind of blend the edges of that out. And for my lid I'm going back into the pink palette. This one is called Cherry Sweet by the way. I'm going to take um, Hibiscus which is the shimmer in here. I'm going to pop that on the inner part of the lid. Ooh, that's really pretty. 
I'm so glad there's no pressed glitters in any of these. It like almost has a little bit of like a purple reflect to it, which is really nice. Back with Soda Crush, which is that matte pink, and to like re-intensify that color a little bit. So pretty, I love it so much. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my like foundation stuff really quick, and then we'll finish up the rest of the look. Went ahead and did my complexion right now, so we're gonna do blush, and then I'll finish up the eyes. Uh, we have two blushes. I'm gonna use, I think, is it this one? Yeah, I'm gonna use Aloha Honey. It's more of like the orangey one, so I'm doing like a more orange look. The other one's like a little bit more like a darker pink. So I'm just gonna take this one and I'm trying not to mess it up because it has the cute little Hello Kitty imprint. But I'm just gonna pack... Oh, she's pigmented. Okay. I feel like this one actually would look really pretty on deeper skin tones. Um, I'm taking it really lightly because it is pretty pigmented. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> taking like a little bit on the tip top of my nose as well. But that's actually really pretty. It's pretty... Oh my god. In person, it looks like a lot. We're gonna kind of tone that down a little bit. I'm gonna use the brush that I set my under eyes with to kind of just go over the edges and soften that up a little bit. So we're gonna just finish the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with the blue palette, which is Coco Cutie. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Lovely Luau. It's this one. It's not the bright, bright blue, the teal shade. Um, and if I need to, I'll go in with the darker blue, but I wanna start off kind of light first. So I'm just taking that shade. I'm going to pack this on the outer half of the lower lash line. And I'm going to try to not take that too far down because I don't want it to look super intense. And that um, shade up a little bit right here too. And for the inner part, I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to go back in with To The Core, which was the yellow. And I'm going to put that on the inner part of the lower lash line. Hopefully, yeah, you can see it a little bit. Take a little bit more of that blue. Inner corner, I'm gonna take, take La Pina. I'm take that on my inner, like, tear duct right here. So cute. I'm also probably gonna bring this a little bit down onto that lower lash line. And blend this upwards. Ooh, that's so cute. I love that on my lower lash line is just like not doing it for me. So I am bringing that like shimmer down just to brighten it up because it is not showing up. This yellow shade on my inner corner, it's so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes really quick and finish up the rest of my face and then we'll come back and use the lip products. Having a terrible lash day, I got like eyeliner on my lid. It was a mess. So we're gonna just ignore that. Let's go ahead and finish off this look with the lip products. This is a little glowing lip balm set. I'm honestly a little scared because everything in here is like tropical. Um, by the way, there is a lip scrub, but it is pineapple flavored or like scented. Um, I know it's probably like artificial pineapple and I'm allergic to pineapple, so I don't wanna, I just don't wanna risk it, you know? So that's why I'm like a little scared of these lip products because they do kind of smell well, they smell more like fruity than anything, so I don't know. I'm a little scared, so I don't want to leave it on too, too long. Um, I think I'm going to use Hello Fruity. This one's like a pretty like pink shade, so um, these are just lip balms. Oh, it's actually pretty pigmented. It feels really nice and like hydrating. I feel like this is a little too pink. I thought they were going to be a little bit more on the sheer side. I had a different one just to try it out. Um, so that one was Hello Fruity. I'm going to take... Let's see what Fun in the Sun looks like. This one's like more of a nude shade. This one smells kind of fruity. I'm so scared, you guys. Okay, that one's a little bit more on the peachy side. I'm going to mix a little bit of the one I used before. Just add a little bit more pink to it, and I think that is good. So let me go ahead and dust off this powder. Okay, so this is the finished look. I feel so weird. I haven't, like, been this blonde <laughs> in a really long time, so I'm, like, not used to seeing it, like, on the camera, but, um, 
yeah so this is the finished look i really like how this look turned out i love the colors and i'm glad i went with this look than like the look that i had in my head so um let me give you guys my overall thoughts on this collection so i really like this collection i think it's super cute and i really think all of the palettes and everything just like work really well I'm excited to see some more colorful eyeshadows especially after the last ColourPop launch so this was definitely like right up my alley I love it um, I think between the four eyeshadow palettes I really love all of them my least favorite one is probably the yellow one just because I feel like the mattes didn't really like wow me that much but the shimmery yellow that I put on my inner corner is stunning but I don't think like that one eyeshadow is like enough for me to like say like I love the whole palette um I just felt like the matte yellows in here were like a little lackluster for me but the other ones I really really love I love the pink one I think it's so pretty and the pink and orange one together was honestly like such a vibe I love it so much so those two are definitely my favorites so um teeny keeny and cherry sweet those ones are definitely my faves i also really like the blue one as well coco cutie you know if you're like a collector and stuff and i would say pick them all up i mean like the yellow one's not bad i just felt like the mattes weren't um as like pigmented and vibrant as like the other shades that i use but that was about it the products i think are super nice i feel like they feel really good on the lips they're super hydrating they like don't feel like sticky or anything like they're like a really nice formula all the shades are really nice i love the packaging i think it's really cute and i love the little like it just reminds me of summer and i think that's like the perfect kind of lip color or like lip product for summer you know so i like the blushes i think these are definitely probably like one of my favorite things in the collection i think that they did a really good job with colors i think both of these shades can work on a variety of different skin tones i feel like you can like, I'm pretty light, and I was still able to sheer out this, like, brighter orange one. But I think if you're, like, a little bit more on the deeper skin tone side, I think you can also build this one up. And it goes on pretty pigmented, so... Um, same for this like pink one. I think this one will look really pretty on deeper skin tones as well. Definitely, I would say Aloha Honey is, like, the prettiest blush ever so I love both of them I really like them I obviously couldn't use the lip scrub but I obviously tried the lip scrubs before and they're really nice I use them all the time so if you like pineapple flavored things then I would definitely say pick up the lip scrub that's everything and I definitely would say the standouts in the collection are the palettes and the blushes so overall I think this collection is really cute for summer I think they did such a good job with it please leave me a comment down below what you guys think about this collection are you guys gonna pick anything up and tell me your favorite thing in the collection Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.